And welcome to Houston Newsmakers Extra. I'm having a wonderful conversation with Commissioner Leslie Briones, Precinct 4, Harris County Commissioner. We were talking about a number of things. We touched upon Tele-Deputy Program, which helps to get uh, the deputies at the higher priority places. But all in all, justice and safety, those two components together are really high on your agenda. Talk about some of the things that you're, that you're most focusing on right now. Yes, so justice and safety is my top priority as commissioner for several reasons. One, I've been the victim of crime several times, and I believe everyone deserves to be safe in their homes, in their schools, and places of worship and beyond. So that has been a key focus. And we're trying to look at the justice system much more holistically and as a system that is highly dynamic and interconnected. Mm -hmm. So for example, one of the changes we've made on the front end of the system is bringing the holistic assistance response team, known as HART, to precinct four. And what that does is someone calls in a state of crisis, whether that's addiction, a mental health related crisis, they're connected to a mental health provider. Again, so we can leverage our law enforcement officers' mm -hmm. time to continue making the progress in decreasing violent crime, thereby connecting that individual to services they may need and improving response times and public safety for everyone. And to me, this is particularly important, especially in Harris County where our jail is one of the largest mental health providers, mm -hmm. certainly in Texas, but in, in the nation. And so we don't need another person in our already overcrowded jail. We don't need another case in our courts that doesn't belong there. It's a mental health issue should be treated as such. The former judge in me, another exciting initiative that my team and I were able to spearhead is we will be getting six additional criminal district courts in Harris County. Mm -hmm. I was shocked to learn that, imagine all of the growth we have had in Harris County and the growth we will continue having. We had only received one new criminal district court since 1985. So my team and I went to Austin and we have successfully received six new criminal district courts. Meanwhile, we're continuing the investment in these visiting judges to help clear the backlog. We've made 42% progress in the backlog, but there's more work to be done. So when so will those courts be available? I mean, Three will take effect this fall and then three the following fall. That's a really big distance of time, the growth that we've had, and not, why was it taking so long? Why was there not the effort to get that? I think there hadn't either been an individual commissioner or, or you know, county judge sure. to really lean into the issue and or lack of alignment. And mm -hmm. so we were able to spearhead and get the support from the majority of the court to move forward on this, and we got the state support as well. So that was that will be huge for Harris County. And then meanwhile, continuing to work along the spectrum. So continuing to invest in the Violent Person Warrant Task Force, right. continuing to, we opened the Women's Empowerment Center, which is a jail for low level female offenders. And as the first mom ever elected to commissioner's court in her own right, I was really saddened to learn that approximately 80% of women incarcerated in Texas are mothers. And so we want these lower level offenders in this jail Women's Empowerment Center to get the job training, the skills, right. the mental health services they need. So when they exit, they're more productive members of our community and they go back to their families, a better version of themselves. So those are some of the examples that we've done to really help continue the progress in public safety and justice. You mentioned the fact that Harris County, it's a pretty big mental facility. There's a lot of uh, inmates there that really probably should be someplace else with the mental issues they have. There also been, it seems to be, at least from what we see, we hear about deaths that are happening in the Harris County Jail a little bit more than what we maybe have heard before. How concerned are you about what we are continuing to hear about deaths that are happening in Harris County Jails? Are there some things that you're hearing from the sheriff about changes that are being made that you are comfortable with, that, 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 that the decisions are being made to make that a, a better scenario? Well, first of all, I find it extremely concerning. This is a critical issue with a tremendous sense of urgency behind it. So I know that Sheriff Gonzalez and his team are working to improve the quality and conditions in the jail. And meanwhile, Harris Health, which is the health care provider in the jail, are working to improve mm -hmm. the service and care. 
One of the key drivers of this very concerning reality that we are in is that we have vacancies that we cannot fill. Mm -hmm. So another thing we did in Commissioner's Court is pass a detention officer's incentive, a retention incentive to keep the valiant men and women we do have there at the jail. It's a tough, tough job. So we need to fill the open funded spots. So if anyone's listening and has an interest in law enforcement, we need you at Harris County. But meanwhile, we need to keep those who are there. It's a really hard work. And so progress is being made, but it needs to be a laser focus of all of us because we must do better. So from what I've seen, uh, the Commissioner's Court is really working and trying to make progress. Y you've been a part of it a relatively short period of time, but there's a lot that's happened in a short period of time. And Judge, Judge Alina Hidalgo recently has said some things that we wouldn't say in church, but we said in Commissioner's Court. And I don't think I heard any apology about any of that. What, are you concerned about the image that's created by those comments and do you think that something more should be said about it or is, is it over and done with, move on? Well, what I'm committed to doing is bringing this judicial temperament and bringing a level of decorum that the court needs and that the people of Harris County deserve. So I have three little girls, which they're my why, so I always go back to them and the way I would want my daughters to behave in the classroom or at church, um, I certainly believe that we all must hold ourselves to those high standards of respect and decorum. So I will do what I can to not only model that, but to hopefully encourage that behavior. Any comments from anybody on the commission's court beyond the comments that were made by the judge after what she said and the fallout from it? There was one, wasn't very much fallout from it, but it was just kind of like, <gasps> That sort of thing. Mm -hmm. do, do your fellow commissioners have anything to say about it that you know of or that they're willing to talk about? Um, perhaps. Um, I really haven't yeah. asked them to opine, but I, yeah. I think everyone was you know, a bit surprised, and I know that we're committed to always improve, right, it, which right. is, again, is what the people deserve. Well, I thank you for coming in today, and um, this has been a really wonderful opportunity to get to know you and see some of the things that you're doing. Your background says that there's a lot that you are capable of doing, and so far, it's been right. You've been able to do thank a great you. deal in a short period of time. Looking thank forward you. to the rest of your tenure. Thank uh, you. Have you started to look beyond Harris County Commissioner's Court yeah. yet? I am just, well, first of all, tremendously grateful okay. for the opportunity to chat with you today, but really the trust that the people of Harris County Precinct 4 have put in me, and my team and I will all day, every day, give it everything we've got to improve the quality of life for all of our residents. So I'm just, I'm, every day I wake up with a profound sense of gratitude, and I will do my best because that's what the people deserve. Thank you, thank you. Let the record show that uh, I said yet, and so down the road, the attorney judge, and maybe a little thing of what you have next in store. <laughs> well, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> we'll I'm, I'm very grateful. So thank you. look forward to the next time. This is uh, Commissioner Leslie Briones uh, and Houston Newsmakers Extra. We hope that you would share this with everyone you know.